after the title, Joseph, Husband of Mary, perhaps the most popular title of St. Joseph is St. Joseph the Worker. The carpenter from Nazareth, Jesus Christ, learned from the workshop, the carpentry shop of St. Joseph. When we speak of work, we speak of energy. When we speak of work, we speak of power to create. When we speak of work, we speak of achievement, of that sense of satisfaction that we are able to produce something from our minds with the work of our hands. Let us remember that work is God's gift to us. In the past, we have fallen victim into a wrong theology of work. Work was perceived to be a punishment for original sin. Work was thought to be a punishment for our infidelity to God. And uh, if there had been no original sin, then we won't have to sweat it out. Then we don't have to labor. But it is true that sometimes work can be enslaving. But before that, let us remember that work is a participation in the creative work of God. We need to rediscover the power, the beauty, the blessing of being a worker. And St. Joseph teaches us that, that there is beauty, there is power in being a worker, in being a co-creator with God in his work of redeeming the world, of restoring all things in Christ. But let us be frank and candid about it. Some of us are indeed addicted to work. And it can be very tricky. If you are addicted to drugs, if you are addicted to alcohol, if you are addicted to gambling, then you are scorned. You are looked down upon because that is an addiction that needs medical attention, that needs healing. But if you are addicted to work, some people even praise you. Some people say, how industrious, how zealous, how masipag. And uh, what happens? Then our work becomes our addiction. We hardly notice it, but it becomes a substitute for our intimacy with the Lord. Let us keep in mind that work and prayer can go together. But when work deprives us of our intimate times with the Lord, then it becomes an obstacle to holiness. Work can lead to sanctification. Work can make us holy. Work praises God. Work glorifies God. But as in all things, excess of work will be dangerous for the soul. Idleness is the pillow of the devil, but too much work can also be an opportunity for the devil to lead us away from the Lord. How does it happen? Work can become an escape. When we are discontented in one aspect of our lives, maybe struggling with sexuality, struggling with uh, ministry, struggling with apostolic work, struggling with members of the community, then we whisper into our hearts of hearts and say, I will work like I am young, even if you're 60. I will work like in my younger days so that I can forget about the problems of community life, the problems of superiors, the problems of the church. 
work can become an escape. And unfortunately, it is sometimes not noticed because society is very sympathetic for people who work very hard. Society becomes very sympathetic for people who work and work and work and produce and produce and produce lots of results. They are considered achievers. They are considered supermen, superwomen, superchildren. And that adds to the problem. And in addition to that, when we, become, when we become addicted to work, we also sacrifice meaningful relationships. We sacrifice relationships, we sacrifice communio, we sacrifice community in the name of work. We can be absent to members of the community, we can be detached from members of the community, we can become cold and indifferent, Walang pakiramdam, walang pakialam, trabaho, trabaho lang ako. And I was still a younger priest, and my archbishop gave me so much work for the church. Some of my elder brothers warned my archbishop by saying, Your young secretary might burn out, you're giving him too much work. But as I grew in years, and as I grew in experience, I came to understand that burnout is not caused by too much work. Burnout is caused by a lack or absence of meaningful relationships. If you are able to nourish, to sustain meaningful friendships, meaningful relationship with the Lord, and with your fellow men and women, burnout will be far from you. Burnout is caused not by too much work, but with the lack or the absence of meaningful, friendly relationships. So, back to St. Joseph the worker. Where was he? He was on both sides. On one hand, he was the worker who glorified God. In his sleep, he talked to the Lord. In his work, he glorified God. He praised the Lord by creating new things for the Lord. On the other hand, he did not allow such work to become an obstacle to family life, to become an obstacle to meaningful relationships, to become an escape in solving his problems. St. Joseph was always present in the Lord. In work, the Lord was with him. And because the Lord was with him, his work was his way of glorifying the Lord, of worshiping the Lord, of sanctifying himself. Be careful with idleness. It is the pillow of the devil. But be careful with too much work it can also become the pillow of the devil. My archbishop told me as a young priest, if you're busy, pray for two hours. On an ordinary day, you can pray for one hour. But if you're very busy, you pray extra and you will be able to do the work that God has given to you. May St. Joseph the worker teach us that balance, the work that sanctifies, but the work that does not sacrifice relationships with one another, and most of all, relationship with the Lord. St. Joseph the worker show us the beauty, the power, the dignity of work, and help us to put much love into our work. We have come to the end of our days with St. Joseph. And I just want to assure you that I am truly grateful for this opportunity to walk with you during this retreat. If there is anything that I want to tell you, it is the advice of my parents each time 
I had difficulty in my ministry as a priest. My parents would always say, Pinili mo yan, tiisin mo yan. You did not choose this vocation. This vocation chose you. You did not choose the Lord first and foremost. The Lord chose you and you are only responding to the call of the Lord. Mahirap, mahirap. But it is meaningful because it is lived for the Lord, with the Lord, and through the Lord. Pray for me as I pray for you. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us.